We are ready now. 145 pound division. The number one seed, Hawk Ruiz from Poway, taking on Anthony Meza from Vista. Number one versus number two. Meza comes in with a record of 36 and 3. Ruiz, a record of 38 and 4. Meza the junior, Ruiz the senior. Meza, total white singlet with the red V on the back. Wrestlers feeling each other out at the center of the mat. Ruiz, I've seen him wrestle a couple of times this year. Todd, uh, actually did a story on uh, Mick Ruiz. Uh, his, his brother actually is a jockey, and is a, he was apprentice at one time for Gary Stevens. Wow. Little 115-pounder, little little Mick Ruiz is his brother, and he actually took second in state. There's going to be a stalemate call as both wrestlers not getting much done there. They are tied up, no points awarded. 0-0 zero, zero here. Ruiz against Meza. Ruiz gets a single in there, but countered nicely and thrown, thrown to the side. Meza gets the takedown there, and... Wow! Talk about a turn of events there. Ruiz had a deep single leg there, and he was just shrugged to the side by Meza. Meza gets the two-point takedown. He leads 2-0 here in the first period of action. Looked like a nice deep shoot-in by or pardon me, Hawk and Ruiz, and uh, Meza with a nice shuck over. Meanwhile, a quick escape there by Ruiz. It's now 2-1 as he stood up and got himself away from Meza. It's now 2-1 Meza over Ruiz with 30 seconds to go in the first period. And Jason, I, the people I was speaking to before this tournament and the championship round, they said this is going to be the match. And already we've seen some exciting wrestling here in the first period of action. 2-1 Meza leads. Both wrestlers on their feet. 10 seconds to go and there's a stall warning against Meza from Vista. And it's shrugged to the side, but each wrestler still on their feet here. Clock's going to wind down in the first period of action, and the first period will end with Anthony Meza from Vista leading Ruiz from Poway by a score of 2-1. to one. The flip will be red, and Meza, wearing the red anklet, will get the choice for the second period, and he chooses neutral. Both wrestlers on their feet to begin the second period of action. Both wrestlers on their feet, working just outside the circle. Quick shot countered nicely there by Ruiz. Meza, very quick. Both wrestlers very fast out there, Jason. For 145 pounds, these kids are nice and fast. Uh, that was a nice sweeping uh, single try by Mesa. Wrestlers on their feet continue to work each other. Tied up and a shrug by countered nicely there by Mesa. Ruiz, it would appear he likes to do the quick shrug and then try and get that single leg. They're really working the level change and uh, kind of duck under there. Level change, level change here. Ruiz, another duck attempt there is countered nicely by Meza. Wrestlers continue on their feet here. Anthony Meza from Vista leads 2-1 to one over Hawk Ruiz. Second period action. One minute to go in the second period. Wow, this is a tightly contested match. It's like a chess match. It's the first one to make a mistake here. Another single attempt there by Hawk Ruiz. Countered nicely there and spun around. And that's going to be a two-point takedown, even though Ruiz holding on for dear life. And now it looks like they're going to possibly award him with an escape. But they quickly gave Anthony Meza, after the spin around, a two-point takedown. And he's going to hold on. And then he's going to let... Ruiz get to his feet, and now it's 4-2. to two. So it was 4-1, to one, Meza, after the takedown. Then Ruiz escapes to make it 4-2 to two with 20 seconds to go in the second period. I think the ref uh, went a little quick there. I don't think he had control. Gave the two points, now the one. It looks like Coach Brandsetter is pretty upset over here from Poway. Coach Wayne Brandsetter pacing around the mat there as he obviously was upset because he thought that takedown call was too quickly for Meza. Still 4-2. Two. two and a half seconds to go before the end of the second period. Meanwhile, it looks like Brandsetter is talking to the referees and he wants to protest that takedown. 
as the referees are going to discuss it now. The call will stand. It will continue to be 4-2. to two. Meza and the buzzer will sound and we will go to the third period of action with the score. Anthony Meza from Vista 4. Hawk Ruiz from Poway 2. And Ruiz will take the bottom position to begin the third period of action. Two minutes to go to award the champion at 145 pounds. And Ruiz, excuse me, Meza will let Ruiz up. It's now 4-3. What's the strategy there, Jason? Well, I think that Mesa just wants to go takedowns with him. It looks like he's got the upper hand on takedowns in this match. Uh, smart, you know, it's so close. It's going to come down to the last takedown. It looks like Mesa's going to go after it. Front headlock now. Both wrestlers tied up. No takedown awarded. It's 4-3 to three here. 1.30 to go in the match. Mesa trying to lock up the headlock. And they're going to call a stalemate there. Exciting finish here in the 145 pound division. And Ruiz trying to shrug by there and countered nicely there by Anthony Mays as both wrestlers are up on their feet, tied up, tied up at the elbows, standing. Equipment trouble, uh, trouble there as the headgear from Mesa slipped off his head and they're going to have a restart here. Back up on their feet. Jason, just how dead dog tired are these guys? I think these guys are both in great shape. I'm, I'm sure the, uh, the nervousness is worn out now. They're just trying to see who makes the last mistake here and try to win a Masters championship. All tied up. Well, 50 seconds to go in the match. Excuse me. The match is not tied. It is a 4-3 lead for Meza. He does have a stall warning, however. And it is still 4-3, and it looks like we were going to have an injury timeout there as Hawk Ruiz will go to the scorer's table there. It is 4-3. Meza leads with 48 seconds to go in the match. And while we have a timeout on the floor, I want to let you folks know that we want to thank the entire staff here that helped put on this great tournament and the directors of the 2007 Masters. They all deserve an incredible thank you, including tournament director Richard Malian. Back wrestling now, 45 seconds to go. Here in the 145 pound division. A one point lead for Meza. Meza working hard. Ruiz working hard. Both wrestlers on their feet. A takedown could win this for either wrestler. But it is Meza who has the advantage because he has a one point lead. Ruiz continues to shoot. Countered nicely by Meza. 25 seconds to go. Holding on to the wrist and shooting in deeply is Ru Ruiz. Ruiz has his head on the mat but he has a single leg in on Meza. Counter. Now both wrestlers on their feet. And there's the single leg and a dump, but pulled out of bounds by Meza is Hawk and Ruiz, and there will be a restart. 12 seconds to go, and the fans are getting excited here. And another timeout. Looks like an injury timeout there. And while we have a timeout, I want to let you folks know that the Masters Wrestling Championships are being brought to you by Driscoll's Sporting Goods in El Centro. For surfwear, streetwear, silkscreen, or custom embroidery, you got to get the Driscolls. 1470 State Street in El Centro. For the hippest and hottest clothes in the desert, visit the store or check out the website at driscolls.net or give them a call at 760-353-2237. I'm Todd Salkowski along with Jason Hendrick. 12 seconds to go in the 145-pound division. Ruiz versus Meza. They clean up the mat. Looks like there was possibly a little blood there, or a little trouble with the mat as they continue to clean things up. We also want to thank the color guard that brought us our colors before the match as the whistle begins. And 10 seconds to go in the match. Ruiz trying to get a takedown here. Five seconds. He's in deep. He's trying to spin around for the two point takedown. Both wrestlers on their feet, and they're going to call him out of bounds. My goodness. Hawkin Ruiz was deep. He was about to slip by for the takedown, but they go out of bounds, and the horn's going to sound. Oh, my. What a finish, Jason. Oh, poor Hawkin Ruiz. It's Meza that takes the title by a score of 4 to 3. He is the 145 pound champion. Wow, what a match. That was very, very close. That could have been a takedown there. The referee could have called it either way on that one, that takedown at the very end. Unbelievable 
exciting match there in 145 pound. Now we're going to move on to the 142 pound division. And before we get to that, we want to recognize that there are several eight inductees. There are eight total inductees that are going to join and be selected to the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. They are eight San Diegans, and they include Tim Tyler, Buddy Wilkerson, Joe Mount, John Talbot, Jose Campo, John Thompson, Alfred Walker, and John Schindel. And we actually had... Trying to fit, oh, uh, Almanza wins there at one of forfeit. Uh, sorry, folks, we had some action going on on the mat. Anthony Almanza wins on a forfeit over James Smith from Brawley. So Anthony Almanza from Brawley, uh, excuse me, from Poway, will win the Masters Championship thanks to a forfeit. So he is the champion at the 152 pound division. We move on. 160 pounders. Ian Dobby from Poway, the number one seed, a record of 31 and 4. He will take on Seth Wren, Seth Wren from Vista, the number two seed. Jason, this is exactly what you like to see, number one versus number two. This is very nice. Uh, uh, this is my weight class, so it has true meaning to me. <laughs> These kids uh, look great in great shape. So you uh, were the state champion at 160. I was, I was. I, 160 is close to my heart. Uh, in fact, I didn't really need to cut weight my senior year, so I weighed pretty much what I weighed. Oh, you lucky, lucky, <laughs> lucky man. Uh, you know, they have all these hydration tests now, but if you look, take a look at uh, uh, Seth Wren from Vista, he's a tall kid, he 460 really? pounds. Might be a six-footer. Very unusual, and again, the it's Vista versus Poway again here. Vista, the all-white singlet with the red V on the back, and they will have the red anklet. Meanwhile, Poway with the green anklet. Dobby and Wren at the center of the mat, eyeing each other over, and it is going to be Wren getting in on a single leg there and spinning around hoping to get the takedown, and now he gets the second leg, and look at Dobby countering. Countering nicely is Dobby, hoping to get the stalemate. stalemate. And Wren was in deep, and it looked like Dobby had no chance, was going to have to give up the two, but a great counter as he gets between, gets into the crotch there and locking into the crotch of Dobby, and you've got to believe they're going to call a stalemate here in the first period of action, and that's exactly what they're going to do. How frustrating is that, Jason, for a wrestler to have in a high single like that? You think you got the takedown, and then the counter gets you nothing. That, that is upsetting because not only do you not get the takedown, but you lose a lot of energy trying to get that takedown. Meanwhile, Dobby gets in deeply for a double leg there, trying to flip over there, and they're going to call that potentially dangerous there. Usually when both wrestlers get off the mat on something like that, they call it, but back down on the mat they go, and again, it's the same situation. This time the wrestler's in reverse. This time it is Dobby in deep on Wren, and Wren is fighting and trying to counter here with 45 seconds to go, and the two points are going to be awarded to Dobby. So it is 2-0 Ian Dobby over Seth Wren. And then Wren is going to be on bottom now as he gets flat on his stomach. And now it is going to be some riding opportunities here for Dobby with 25 seconds to go in the first period of action. Dobby from Poway leading Wren from Vista by a score of 2 to nothing. And there's that turkey bar. And here comes the arm bar <laughs> for Dobby. That move to take him down was called an Iranian. I'm not sure if you know <laughs> that takedown that the Poway kid took took the Vista kid down is called an Iranian. I remember the Iranian, sure, absolutely. Very, very unique move, but he got it, got the takedown there with six seconds left. And riding him to the edge of the mat is Dobby, and the whistle is blown. They will have a restart now. Ran on bottom, Dobby on top, 160-pound championship here. It's 2-0 Dobby over Ren. And the first period is going to end and it's going to end with Ian Dobby leading by that same score 2 to nothing. The flip is going to be green. It'll be Dobby's choice. And Dobby is going to choose neutral and both wrestlers are going to be on their feet. I find this somewhat in uh, very interesting uh, Jason that every time a Poway wrestler has the choice they immediately look over their coach to ask him what they should do. And meanwhile as both wrestlers are on their feet, it's another deep single leg for Wren, and Wren is going to get a two-point takedown, and we are tied up at two apiece. Bad decision by the Poway wrestler going neutral there. 
defeats what exactly you said. They always choose up and neutral, but in that instance, it didn't work for the Poway kid. Now, when I, uh, I was wrestling back in the day and I had my choice, I just chose what I thought was appropriate. I never really looked over at the coach. I, I kind of did what I thought was the right thing to do. So, But it's, it's interesting how the strategy plays into it. And meanwhile, trying to get some back points there and, and rolling away and out of the back point opportunities is Ian Dobby. But Seth Wren has tied this match up here in the second period, knotted up at two apiece in the 160-pound division. Todd Salkowski along with former California State Champion Jason Hendrick here on KBCSports.com, your home for high school sports. Trying to get the escape and getting to his feet is Dobby, but countered nicely and being put back on the mat is Wren, and Wren has got Dobby flat on the mat again here as he will continue to ride Dobby. And now he's got legs in it, and he's, he's got Dobby's legs all twisted up, and they're going to call a potentially dangerous there. And we continue here in the second period with the score tied at two apiece under a minute to go. Restart at the center after the potentially dangerous call. Ren on top, Dobby on bottom. Quick stand up there by Dobby. Countered and thrown back down to the mat by Ren. Ren now riding the right arm of Dobby. He's on the right side, and he gets a cross face in, and now he's going to try and turn over Dobby, and he's got a leg in, trying to spin him and get the back points there, and he is in deep with 35 seconds to go, and again, we mentioned how tall Ren was. He's trying to use his length and stretch out Dobby and turn him over there. Exactly the game plan I would use, Todd, if I was that tall. Stick those legs in and go to work. And that's exactly what he's trying to do, but fighting off very... Nicely there is Dobby, and he is on the bottom as Wren continues to work him over with a deep leg in. Now he's going to try and work the right side. He was working the left side of Dobby. Now he's going to work over to the left side, and the horn is going to sound, and a sit-out there, and a sit-out is countered by Wren, and the horn will sound, ending the second period, and we are going to go to the third period with the score tied 2-2. Dobby and Wren, and it will be Seth Wren taking the bottom position to begin the third period of action. And it is going to be Dobby letting Wren up, so Seth Wren will take a 3-2 to two lead here in the third period. Dobby with a kind of a soft shot there to the right side of Ben, and this time he goes deep, trying to flip over Seth Wren. He's got the single leg in, and now both wrestlers... Back on their feet and sprawling out is Wren trying to get out of it there. And then a quick little fireman's carry there by Dobby is countered very nicely by Wren. And working in the cross face. Meanwhile, Dobby has in the single leg as both wrestlers are in a stalemate situation. And referees looking it over. And another Iranian attempt here. And trying to flip, flip over Wren is Dobby. And this time it's Wren holding on for dear life. And by holding on and holding on to the ankle after the Iranian, Seth Wren will get the stalemate call. Both questions will get back to their feet. It's a one-point lead for Seth Wren. 3-2 with one minute to go in the match. A nice single leg counter with another single leg there. As the both wrestlers are locked up and tied up in the center of the mat. A lot of room to work there in the center of the mat, Jason. They, uh, this is back-to-back -back Vista Poway matches here, and these are coming right down to the wire with 40 seconds left. In deep, and again, it's another stalemate call. A takedown for Dobby would get him the championship. 160-pound division. Both wrestlers on their feet. It's a one-point lead for Seth Wren from Vista. He comes into this match with a record of 39-8. and eight. Finished fourth in the Masters last year. He shrugs by Dobby, gets a single leg. He's got a deep single leg, and spinning around and trying to get out of that single leg is Dobby. 15 seconds to go in the match. Looks like another stalemate situation despite the deep single leg, and that's what they're going to call. 13 seconds to go. A restart. Both wrestlers on their feet. Seth Wren has a one-point lead. A deep shot, a double-leg attempt there by Dobby. Sprawling out and countering is Seth Wren, but getting up and getting deep is Dobby. 
but the clock is going to expire and it's going to be a one point win Seth Lynn will take home the title at 160 pounds by defeating Ian Dobby of Poway by a score of 3 to 2 and wow talk about energy being exerted out on the wrestling match Jason back to back Vista wins that was pretty nice you don't see that very often <laughs> against Poway to be honest the Vista Panthers take home the championship in the last two weight classes as we prepare for the 171 pound division tonight's outstanding wrestler award at the Masters is presented in memory of Jay Panacho who is remembered for his work ethic dedication and desire to be a champion now although Jay is no longer with us his courage and dedication serves as an example to the next generation of wrestlers Todd Selkowski along with Jason Hendrick here on KBCSports.com your home for high school sports 171 pound division the whistle is blown it's Travis Brown from Poway the number one seed taking on Chris Boscone the number two seed from Mount Carmel the wrestlers on their feet they are locked up and then they separate from the, the headlock. Bascone, the Division Three champion last week, and he had an exciting championship match last week as he brought home the title for Mount Carmel. Meanwhile, Travis Brown, the senior from Poway, he also was a champion in Division One last week of the CIF. So this should be another exciting match here. Both wrestlers on their feet. And a single leg deep there by... Brown. Brown's going to shrug aside Bascone and working to get the takedown as Bascone gets is thrown to the mat and there will be two points awarded to Travis Brown. He leads 2-0 in the first period of action. 1.15 to go in this first period of action. And then he gets a quick leg in and a quick tilt there and he's going to get back points there. Very nice move there. Not only to get the takedown but to quickly get the three-point near fall. It's now 5-0 Travis Brown Poway. 